This is a painting of Diana and her nymphs bathing by Jean-Francois de Troyes. Now, this painting was is a mythological reference to Roman mythology using the Roman names, even though in Greek names, uh, say Diana would be called Artemis, this scene would also be noticed. As you can see here, uh, Diana has just finished bathing, and the nymphs are now cleaning her, adding ribbons, clothes, you know, normal stuff done for royalty and things. Now over here, there's a nymph trying to stop a man from looking at her lecherously, very pervertedly, and you can see how, um, beautiful this woman looks in this painting, at least by the standards back then. Um, there's a nice contrast between water and land. There's this beautiful tree in the background. It's well done. Uh, you can see Diana's arrows and bow, another mythological reference, which are, these are her weapons normally used in combat. As you can see here, Diana has the crescent of the moon, which again, she was also known for. Now, another thing is Diana would not want to be seen by this man because she is known as the goddess of chastity and any man looking at her like this would not have a very good day afterwards. So this, this nymph right here is actually doing him a favor. This river god here, he is not lucky if Diana sees him. Now this is the painting Before the Ball by Jean-Francois de Troyes, the French painter. Uh, again, from the 1600s to the 1700s a bit later in the heyday of painting. Now as you can see here, these people, this, these women are probably aristocrats and they're getting ready for a ball. This lady has all of her servants attending. She seems very happy. You see one of the masks that she's going to wear to this masquerade ball called a domino. Now this painting is called a tableau de mode, which is a, uh, a, fas a fashion painting. It's, shown, it's uh, made to show the elite life, the life of the aristocrats and the barons and France. Now, as you can see here, this woman is also wearing a mask. She's another aristocrat with candles. You see these two people are getting ready to revel in the masquerade ball. This woman has got this huge, long, voluminous cloak, which is normal for what they would wear around there. There are many colors, blue, red, white. You see some pink on this one. And all of them have uh, powdered wigs, which was the fashion back then. I love this painting. I, I really do. The, it, it gives us a nice glimpse into the life of the aristocrat. Here you can see some nice candles and a uh, the entrance to the ball, which I believe those are curtains right there.